H5P Interactive Content H5P is open source software allowing you to create interactive content in Moodle. From course navigation, more, content bank, we can upload existing H5P content made, for example, on h5p.com or h5p.org, and we can create new content from the Add dropdown. Here, our teacher Sam is going to create a multiple choice activity. H5P is a separate software from Moodle, so we won't explore how to create activities here, but instead we'll look at how you can include your H5P content in your Moodle course. Sam has created two activities. She wants to add the multiple choice one to her course page for learners to attempt and receive an automatic grade. If you want to do the same, then enable edit mode, click the plus sign where you want the activity, and then activity or resource. H5P is an activity because learners interact with it. On the setup screen, we add a name, and if you want a description, and then click Add and find your H5P from the content bank if that's where you created it, as did our teacher Sam. Think carefully about which H5P options to enable. Set the grade, if applicable, and then attempt options if this is available for your H5P content. In completion conditions, if we want to track that students have accessed the H5P activity, do we want them to manually click to confirm they've seen it, or do we want it automatically marked complete when they've simply viewed it or got a grade or passing grade? No need to select view if you're using other criteria. To alert course participants that an H5P activity has been added or updated, click Send Content Change Notification. We click Save and Return to Course, and learners can now access the H5P and their results will appear in the gradebook. H5P can also be embedded anywhere there is the editor, although note that scores are not easily recorded this way. Sam has added a page with a video of counting in French and she wants to embed a dictation activity to accompany the video. So she clicks Settings and then she clicks the H5P icon, browses for the content from the content bank, adds it, again selecting the H5P options, and here is the video with the dictation. If you have problems with H5P displaying, check the Display H5P filter is enabled.